www.fitnessfitness.com. Today, we're going to be talking about stretching. And my favorite type of stretching is active stretching. The reason why I like active stretching so much is because it creates flexibility and stability at the same time. Now, the best way to actively stretch is to actually contract antagonistically in the opposite direction of the area in which you would like to stretch. Okay, for example, if you feel the anterior part of your body is tight, say your pectorals, your chest muscles are tight, a great way to actively stretch would be to just take your arm, extend it far back, contract the posterior muscles, which will release the front part of your body. So you would be stretching your pectorals as opposed to holding on to something. For example, you're here now, I'm grabbing the skeleton, and I'm rotating forward. I'm actually, this is not active stretching. I'm actually, to some degree, forcing myself into a stretch, which in some cases can be beneficial, but for a lot of people, it could be dangerous. What you're actually doing is you're forcing yourself into a position that could possibly be unstable. You're forcing yourself into a, into a position of instability. But if you actually contract into a position, it's much safer, and any range of motion that you pick up, any increased flexibility, will actually be real flexibility. That means pretty much you can actively stretch any part of your body. Okay. Now, let's say for example, you want to stretch your quadriceps, okay? the muscles in front of your leg as opposed to just pulling your heel up to your buttocks where you're kind of like forcing your, your quadriceps to stretch, you can contract into the position instead, which would be great. Extend the hip, flex the heel to the buttocks, release the quadriceps, stretch in the quadriceps. Say you want to increase your, your rotational ability, okay? Full rotation to the left, you're pretty much stretching your entire body in left rotation. If you want to involve the neck, turn the head to the right. Same thing this way. Full rotation left, turn the head to the right. This is all active stretching, contractile stretching. You can never go wrong. You're also going to find that with active stretching, you're actually working out. Since you're contracting into these positions, you're actually making yourself stronger at the same time as increasing your flexibility. Any contractile motion will always release an opposing motion. Okay? Another example would be, okay, say you want to stretch your abdominals. By just reaching your hands overhead and reaching behind you, you're contracting all the posterior muscles in your body. And what are you releasing? The anterior muscles of your body, most, mostly your abdominals. There are some other involvement too of the pectoral, the, the, your deltoids, a lot of motions. Okay? This type of stretching is incredible for athletes. It's really incredible for anyone. Anyone who's interested in increasing their flexibility, eliminating any chance of really ever hurting yourself, I really would recommend active stretching for just about anybody. And you can be very creative in how you do it. There is almost no wrong way of actively stretching because you're actually contracting. The only things I would not do is I would not try to move in a manner in which you're going against how the body, how the body is designed. For example, like you take it, you take the knee, which is a hinge joint, and you put too much lateral pressure or too much go beyond its, its ability to extend. Like no. You know, that's, that's why I like active stretching so much. You really cannot hurt yourself. Let me give you another example of just a great all-around integrated active stretch that pretty much can almost involve the entire body. Okay? It would be, say, it would be stepping forward, slightly leaning forward. So now I'm loading myself in that, what we, we would call in, 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 the, in the industry, the sagittal plane is being loaded. Now I'm rotating to my left, which is a transverse plane, and I'm leaning over into a frontal plane. This stretch pretty much hits every muscle of the body, and you'd want to do it both ways. You'd want to first load slightly in the sagittal plane. You'd want to rotate 
in the transverse plane, and then you want to lead sideways in the frontal plane. <laughs> Why I'm talking about planes of motion is that a good active stretching program, you always want to, you always want to stretch evenly in all three planes of motion. For example, you want to do things where you're actually stretching forward. You want to do things where you're actually stretching sideways. And you want to do things where you're stretching rotationally. Sometimes, like in that stretch we just did, you pretty much stretched in all three planes of motion. Active stretching is also a great warm-up, either before playing a sport or before, say, just doing a workout. Okay? I know in the last few years there's been a lot of criticism about doing static stretching before sports. You know, static stretching is basically, this is a classic static stretch, putting your leg up, you know, leaning forward, holding the stretch, say, for 30 seconds to a minute until the muscle releases. You know, a lot of research in the last few years, or even 10 years ago, were talking about static stretching, you know, te temporarily inhibits the muscle and can actually make the muscle weaker. So you don't see too many high-level athletes statically stretching before they start doing a competition or before an event. You see them dynamically stretch. You know, that'll be another video I'd like to be doing, talking about. Dynamic stretching is basically just movement stretching, simulating a sport, you know, big steps, big rotation, big movements, walking, moving, or basically just if you're a tennis player, if you just started, you know, playing tennis at a very easy, moderate level, warming your body up, dynamically moving, that would get you ready for a sport. But active stretching is also another great option. Before playing sports, you know, before, before starting a workout, because you're actually contracting. You're not inhibiting. In actuality, you're probably increasing the proprioceptiveness of the neurological system and of the muscles. So in my opinion, actively stretching can actually enhance performance. I'd like to end this video by saying, you know, give this active stretching a try. Pretty much look at your body, see where you're tight, whatever motion you have difficulty getting into, as long as you're pain free in that position, contract into it. See if things open up. See if you can release some motion. If you have trouble rotating to your left, rotate to your left. Hold it for five seconds. You're going to be really surprised. All of a sudden, you're going to hold it for five seconds. It's going to open up. You're going to be able to rotate more. Hold that for another five seconds. See how far you can go. It's not like you're forcing yourself into a position. You really can. You know, you can hurt yourself doing anything. Let's keep that in mind. You know, so still be careful. But this is one of what I think is the safest ways to increase your flexibility, to get you to get you ready for a sport. It's a great cool down. It's almost a workout within itself because you are actually contracting. Keep that in mind. I also want to end the video by saying, you know, I'm relatively new to YouTube and I'd like to get feedback from the people who are watching this video. I'd like to know if you like the video. I like to know, I would like to know topics in the future in which you'd like to you'd like me to address. I'd like to know about you, like who are who is watching the video? I'd like to know a little bit about yourself. So please, if, if, if you have the time, you know, drop me an email at MikeColaFitness.com. I'm going to try to link this, this video up to an area where you can just click to email me. And, and thanks for your time. Thank you.